Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Tim Bursons from Amplified Vitality and welcome back to another video. This one I have some really cool ideas that I wanna share with you that uh, you can contemplate throughout your day and sort of start to um, play with yourself, you know, like start to mold them, um, make them your own and, and apply them to your life, see how it affects things in your, in your world, in your experience. See if you're able to start um, using it to become aware of how you are acting throughout a day, how you are thinking throughout a day, um, and start to understand how it is that the thoughts that you're thinking are actually influencing your experience of the world, both from the level of perception and from the level of changing your actual behavior and what you're open to, uh, to being aware of. So, you know, um, a good example for this, you know, we'll, we'll stick in the health realm for now, is if somebody has a completely strong belief that supplements uh, don't work then maybe they're leaving some healing modality off the table that they're not even willing to consider because of the fact that they're so blocked off to supplements. The reverse of that could be someone who is so attached to supplements that they uh, believe that supplements are the key to healing, only to find out that actually the more that you take supplements, you kind of you, you get away from uh, um, allowing your body to naturally heal and instead you're trying to overload it with certain nutrients and then you actually move further away from health as well. So there's sort of this idea that there's these belief structures that are filtering the experience that we have of reality. So if we have these blind spots or these blocks, these uh, these beliefs that close off um, huge portions of information that we could be receiving, we actually might not even see that there is something there that could help us or something there or something that we're participating in that actually is continuing to hurt us. So um, the exercise I'm about to share with you, the, the thought trail that I'm going to walk us down is uh, is something that you can apply to your to your everyday life and apply to to your present moment energy and your present moment thoughts to start to become aware of whether whether you actually are closing yourself off to um, new possibilities by maintaining an energy that doesn't actually serve you. So um, a great way to set this up would be to talk about the difference between or talk about the connection between thoughts and feelings or what, what we could call emotions uh, energy. So there's the saying, um, emotions equal energy in motion. And so there's a certain, a certain feeling, uh, energy field feeling that you can um, have in your body when you're experiencing a certain emotion. So a lot, of t a lot of times you'll feel it in your gut. That's very, a very typical place to feel it. Um, maybe it'll be in your heart or even your low, lower ab abdomen. <clears throat> and uh, wherever you feel those emotions within your body, it's your body having an actual reaction to some sort of energy. And then that reaction is creating a physiological change, chemicals being dumped into your blood that are stress chemicals that are telling all the cells uh, through the communication of all the cells in your body, telling them all, hey, we're under some sort of threat or some sort of stress um, because of your interpretation of something that you're experiencing. So, um, you know, the, the common stress uh, uh, stimulus, fight and flight, fight or flight that a lot of people talk about is, you know, the, the lion on the savanna, uh, you have to run for your life. So you mobilize all your energy, tell yourselves we're under stress. So your interpretation of reality is that there is some sort of threat. Well, we're interpreting reality all the time. If we see it as something as a threat, then we're going to react with that stress response. Uh, but there's not just one, one emotion. There's a scale of emotions that we could be experiencing based on however we're thinking, however we're acting. Um, what we're receiving through the senses um, and also through our thoughts and our memories and our projections into the future. So what I would like to lay out is this idea, this metaphor, that the thoughts that you think are the flowers that bloom out of the soil of emotion. So another way to put that is that the energy of the emotion that you feel within your body is the atmosphere or the environment in which thoughts appear. Now, if you're in a fearful place, you can't grow flowers of joy and peace or relaxation or love or even, um, even just courage. Um, to have courage, you have to change the energy in order to come to a place of um, even reason or objectivity. You have to come out of the energy field of fear and come into an energy field that, is, that can spawn different thoughts that aren't fearful thoughts. Um, so if you're laying in bed at night worrying about something, um, you know, com in a very compulsive, like obsessive, compulsive kind of way, that the thought just keeps coming up and that energy field, you keep feeling it in your body, 
those thoughts are being born out of that energy and they are endless. As long as that soil is there, it doesn't matter what seeds you try to plant through intentions or affirmations or whatever it is, you're planting those seeds in soil of fear. So they won't grow, but the soil of fear will naturally continue to promote the, the thoughts of fear to continue to grow. On the other hand, if you start intentionally uh, letting go of the flower, so instead of looking at the flower itself and thinking that's all that exists and sort of ignoring the context in which the flower blooms, context being the soil, the energy in which the flower blooms, then you can stop focusing on that content and start coming back into what is the energy so you're coming back a level, you're taking a step back, no longer attached to the content, but willing to look at the context as well. So this is a huge, a huge, huge important step to take in starting to analyze your thoughts, starting to understand what it is you're doing on a habitual basis. Um, you know, the state of your conditioning that is often unconscious, that is just sort of uh, the default mode that the human body executes, that pl they plays out based on um, the expression of the energy that you're continually and habitually practicing or engaging with. Um, and again, a lot of that energy is based on beliefs. So if you believe that, I used this example before about um, people who are shy and they go to a coffee shop uh, and they can't even order a coffee without having a fear reaction because they have this belief that people are scary. Or maybe they have a belief that they don't have enough self-worth or enough uh, integrity of presence in order to uh, have a, a conversation. They feel weak or something like that. And they feel like they want to hide and they want to run away. They don't have boundaries. They don't have the ability to stand firm and erect in that, in that moment. They want to cower and they want to fall back. So that belief, either in themselves or in uh, how people are in the world or the connection between the two, there's some belief system or belief structure that's an actual psychological energy that is, is built and practiced and maintained and has momentum going to it that you're continuing to practice and continuing to believe and that's causing your energy to be in a certain way. So you're viewing the world and interpreting it through the lens of that belief, which is creating that energy. Now that energy is spurring on more thoughts, which help to further support those beliefs. And it's sort of like a Chinese finger trap where you, the more you pull, the tighter it gets. The more you try to think your way out of an emotional state, the deeper into, you, into it you get because you're continuing to grow those flowers in that soil of fear. So rather than getting stuck in the content of the thoughts of what you're thinking, taking that step back out and asking, what is the quality of this thought that I'm experiencing? Not what's the content, not, you know, and it doesn't say that you can't also look at the content to understand. It's not like, oh, I have to pay this bill and I don't have the money, so I should just ignore money and ignore the bill and not pay it and not do anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. You still have, you know, practical experience that you have to take into account, but you can, choose, as I said in the last video, choose your interpretation or your perception of uh, how you relate to the bill. But instead of, instead of continuing to view the bill with this fearful energy, continuing to promote the, the fearful thoughts, you have to have this courage and really you have to have this faith, this trust, that if you change the energy, and, you, and by changing the energy what I mean really is no longer buying into and participating in the fearful energy, even though the content's the same, you know, you still have to pay the bill, it's still there, you're going to step out of that context, use different soil, start planting different soil. That's one of uh, courage or one of hope or one of trust. All of these things that can start to allow new plants to grow. Now, if you are used to living a very fearful life and you're constantly thinking fearful thoughts, you're, you won't just jump into all of a sudden having these um, courageous thoughts and joyful thoughts, peaceful thoughts, um, um, thoughts of understanding that well-being is inherent to all of us and that we, are, we, are, we all have the abundance around us and it's only us that block it off. You cannot perceive that if you're stuck in the energy field of fear. And as soon as you move into the new energy field, you're starting to build the momentum, you're starting to build new belief structures that will end up being something that you can to utilize to actually change your experience. But it's not going to happen right away. You can't plant the seed in this new soil and expect the flower immediately. That's where you have patience. That's where you have to have the understanding of the context of how the energies work within your body. If you understand that, okay, this energy here is not serving me because it's continuing to create these flowers of fear, and I'm going to use this new energy, well, you're going to have this tendency to revert back to the fearful energy. 
it's only your your faith and commitment and dedication to maintaining this new energy field this new soil that in time will bear fruit you just have to have the faith that it will instead of collapsing back into what's comfortable what's known what's conditioned and default for you which in this case as the metaphor goes would be the fearful reaction so with all of this the way that you can start to apply it in your life is through the simple question of, of uh, checking in with yourself multiple times throughout the day. You could even set your phone um, you know, to go off five or six times as a reminder. Um, it should become automatic over time where you're just constantly checking in with yourself, constantly in tune with your emotions, becoming more and more sensitive to them. Uh, not letting them control you. You know, you still are, you're the one who's deciding which energy field to participate in. You're just completely aware when it is that you fall into energy fields that are lower than what is serving you. Um, and as you step out of those, you'll step into higher and higher energy fields and continually shed the skin of the old energy fields as you continue to grow. Um, and that's the entire, the entire journey, you know, that's the growth process. Um, so as you go through the day, use uh, that question of what is, uh, you know, as you're checking in with yourself, use the question, what's the quality of this thought that I'm thinking? You don't deny the content, you don't try to push it away and live in some delusional reality. Uh, you're still experiencing what you're experiencing. You still have to pay the bill. You still have to talk to the coffee person to get your coffee. Um, you still have to do all the things that are, that are content-based, but you're gonna ask what thoughts you're thinking around it, uh, what the quality of those thoughts are, rather than what the content of the, thing, the thought is. That alone will start to put the, your foot in the door. So instead of a closed door, it will now have a crack in it where you've kind of opened up this new idea that the way that you have been approaching something and that the energy in which you have been engaging with uh, in relationship to whatever subject it is or even just your life on a whole, that that energy does not necessarily have to be the way that things are and that you can start practicing a new energy. So you don't even have to really do a lot. There's not a lot of effort here. It's just a matter of asking that question, acknowledging and recognizing, okay, there's that energy that I'm doing again. What, what's the quality of this thought? And then that openness that I sp spoke about in the last video, the openness to be willing to receive a new way of viewing it, which means a new energy, um, practicing a new energy to the point where, and practicing it consistently and dedicatedly and long enough that it will bear the fruit of those flowers where now you'll approach a situation, catch yourself, acting and thinking in a new way and feel that relief of wow i've i've shed that skin i've moved past the fear soil and there my my baseline soil is this new soil that now i'm experiencing these amazing thoughts of my own worth and my own power and you know how how beautiful of a world we can live in if we choose to perceive it in that way so it's a very simple exercise it just takes commitment it just takes um regularity and consistency just every single um, day having multiple times where you come back and check in with yourself um, meditation sort of like squeezing all of the uh, you know a bunch of recognition moments into a uh, like a 15 minute period rather than spreading them out throughout the day um, but either way just becoming more aware of that energy is going to be the huge thing that's going to change the way that you actually approach things so let me know what you think about this um, if it get, gave you some light bulbs please drop those below i love um, having conversations about this in comments same if you have any questions Please give me the thumbs up if you like this video and share it with anyone who you think might like it. Um, this information is really mind opening and uh, it can really make some changes in people's lives. So if you have anyone that comes to mind, please share it with them. Make sure you subscribe for future content. I got a lot more stuff coming out. And with all of that, um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.